All right, everyone, so this is what we're going to be playing today. Yeah, first of all, Rainbow Rob, thank you for that uh, tier one sub for nine months in a row. Appreciate you, Rob. We're going to be playing some Jeskai Breach action today. Yep, we're trying two win cons. We're trying a, a little bit less grinding station, less mock timber, playing a 20 second land, trying some weird stuff, basically. Just, you know, messing around a bit. Um... Trying to see, uh, you know, I mean, those changes, if they're if they're good or not. But three days till vacation. All right. Yeah, there we go. I'm for once not going home uh, for, for Christmas this year for whatever reason. But uh, yeah, we're still going to celebrate around here. But it's going to be weird to not go back to go back home for Christmas. But to be fair, North Dakota is just demolished with snow. I don't even think I could fly in. It's that bad. So. I think that's a blessing. I think it was something like, I don't know, two feet or something. And everything is still open in North Dakota, which is classic North Dakota. Yeah, yeah. Gotta love it. All right. So, yep, this is the changes we're going to be playing. Just playing the prelim. There's some grinders in here. People are, people are uh, you know, hungry to play some games here after the weekend, I suppose. But it should be fun. <clears throat> I didn't get to play any of these sweet mox challenges or arena open or anything this weekend. It was a bummer. It was a bummer. I was very, very much wanting to, but cover Germano Traders was also fun. Don't get me wrong. But man, the cube just, I, I was getting so much FOMO looking at all those cube pictures. I must say it looked like a blast. Yeah, yep, yep, dress down is gas. Um, basically, you know, you just gotta plan around when you're gonna play it. And a lot of the matchups you bring dress down in against, hammer, amulet, your constructs are pretty bad. So uh yeah, it ends up being pretty good. <laughs> yeah, 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 dog. I agree. That coverage team was not really uh, you know, it didn't have any favorites. Not a single one. It's it's really tough to do sometimes, but I, I was proud of us. <laughs> yeah even the winners interview were just like what's it like to be wrong playing the deck uh not playing breach he's like i won guys and we're like eh. still <laughs> yeah it seemed like uh the most popular arena open as well like i would be shocked if they don't run many more of those you know all right i'm gonna try it we got a good old monkey on the play followed by the shred arena I haven't played Breach in a while, y'all. I'm excited. I haven't played in a while. And these prelims usually go pretty fast, too, so not going to be a crazy long stream, maybe three, three and a half hours or so. And then I got to start my workout journey, getting back into shape for Pro Tour Philly. It's not going to be fun, but got to start somewhere. From your living room. Oh, yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, the arena opens are insane. They are so good. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Better than me. You got to actually try. Oh, yeah. Some breed trust. And that, that's true. That happened. I felt it, too, the other day. But I haven't played in a while. So, yeah, we'll try to, we'll try to not punt too many times today. If not, chat, you, can, you get to make fun of me, which I know is one of your favorite pastimes. All right, mate, ring event, monkey time. All right, I would love for my morning for my ring event to live. Uh, well, Esper Sentinel is incredibly annoying, so I think I should still probably kill this, or still just attack into it, which will kill it. Then it's going to be quite the tilt if I don't draw a land next turn, though. All right. Um, so this is probably Hammer. Only have the one Teferi, so I'm just going to get this. Let's shred him. All right, please play two spells. 
Uh, I tried Teamer, Teamer, and the only thing I liked out of it was uh, Haywire Might. But everything else was bad, so I didn't find it worth it. Um, granted, I, I have not been liking Teferi, but the white cyborg cards, I think, are excellent. So, I'm still on Jess Guy, but that's my reasoning. Uh-oh. I do love the hammer matchup, but our hand is not set up for this. Unless we draw a land. A land would be huge here. Probably play Fable. But I do thoroughly enjoy playing against Hammer. Especially with all the dress downs on the board, we're gonna see we're gonna see dress down be uh quite nice in the post board games. But also Shredder and Fable in the post board games come out. We just turn into a combo control deck. Granted, I have cut a grinding station, so I'm hoping it's still going to be as good. But, yeah, that was not good. Hiya. Hiya. Well, the Shredder Fable mix is still better uh, in this scenario. If I would have had three Fables here, that would have been uh, not great. Not great. Against Hammer on Breach? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this is one of my, uh, I would say, most dominant matchups. But, you know, I do have quite the sideboard for it. And it is a match that you for sure have to uh, have some practice with. It is, it's, it's a tough one. You're just constantly under a state of, of, of fire, you know? And you always have to be playing super defensive. <laughs> yeah, that's brutal, brutal hate how it works like that i would like you to trigger my ledger shredders please i would not like you to just do a saga token that's so boring I think that card is trash. I tried it. I, I I thought it would be cool, but it is just not good. I did try it, though. It's close. It was close. Okay. So, I think I probably want to Fable here. I'm only going to attack for one. Hey, thanks, Will Hall. Appreciate you. Thank you. It was fun. All right. I think it's better than Emery since I don't have too much going on with that. And then we can figure that out later. Mirror break them. All right. I like it, Fern Dog. My number one most watched was actually Will Halt. <laughs> I love me some old coverage. Always have it on in the background when I'm just doing editing work. <laughs> okay there is the shadow sphere don't mind that too much unless i'm dead which i could be dead even a paladin i'm probably dead I was like, damn, you paladin first, wouldn't you? Still draw a card. Uh, I'm so dead. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> so that's going to be four 14 power or maybe i can live unless they have another one but the problem is i can live here and then i just have to get a little lucky oh okay okay cool 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 
Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> yeah, or not. Yeah, oh, we were just off to way too slow of a start. We drew many of the cards that uh, are not good in the matchup. And we died very quickly. All right, now we'll bring in our plethora of hate. And let's see what else we want to take out. I don't need two win cons in this. I bet that's going to be a very common thing is taking out win cons. I want all my removal. I want my combo. Hmm. I could. Either Spell Bomb isn't amazing here. Never played a combo deck. So there's that. Yeah, that's a, it's a tough one. It is definitely a tough one. Um, there might be some world where I only need one Mox. On the draw, I like to trim on some Ragavans, but on the play, I don't. No, that's not true. That's not true. Half the time it's your main plan, half the time it's uh it's a backup plan. Like right now comboing is going to be our main plan. I'm trying to write a message for Corey. <laughs> yes, beautiful. Beautiful EK. Thank you for the sub, buddy. I like it. I like it. A nice poem to start the day. All right, I'm going to try this and I almost want to get rid of the spell bomb. Seems kind of loose. I'm going to try to go down to one mox. I don't know about that, though. I'll try it. I shall try. Yeah, maybe I should cut a land, actually. When I cut all those uh, looting effects out of my deck, when I cut Shredder and Fable, maybe I should... Just go down on a land. So the only reason I'm up to 22 lands is I have so much looting, but... I'm doing good, EK. Good start to the day. Gonna have a, lick, a little morning stream and then go to the gym and get some housework done. Do some adulting today. That's, that's a good point. Make some mess up their givers. Yeah, not even all this play giver, too. Six pack Cory win. No, I'm just trying to not get the keg, Cory. You know, uh, I'll be happy with that. Avoid the keg. <laughs> Make sure my suits fit and stuff like that. That's more of the goal. <laughs> get ahead of this Christmas uh, diet. <laughs> All right, next turn we can go Emery and Unholy Heat, which is pretty cool. Cool. All right, let's go like this. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. There we go. I like that. All right, now the main question do I want to do it now? What does that card do? Um, blacksmith skill. Target permanent gains hexproof and indestructible. So if I want to kill it for sure, I should just do it now. Honestly, that's probably pretty reasonable. I, I'm going to have to kill this card. And if they go Stoneforge, I can't kill it anyways. So yeah, might as well. <clears throat> All right, now this bobble in the yard better do some work. Did hit a bobble. We needed that with this hand if we weren't going to draw anything else, so. Okay. Yeah, if they had blacksmith skill, then this is nice so far, but a loose cookie. Okay. I'll take it. The DD. That's going to be good. Yeah, now we're just going to do this until we find some goods. That's a good one. Pretty hard to say no to that. 
Um, all right. Pretty hard to say no to that one. Because even if we, like, you know, run, get attritioned out, can always, like, Underworld Breach and then End Step Dress Down to shut down uh, some of their actions. Whenever an equipment enters the battlefield. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. That's, that's fine with me, I guess. Fine with me. Okay, huh. right, well, <clears throat> I could go for it, but if they have a spell pierce, it breaks it up. It's probably not worth it. Hunzi, coming in for two months. Welcome, welcome back, my friend. Appreciate you. Let's drop some bombs on our new subs today, y'all. All right, I don't think I should go for it yet. I think it's too risky. I'm in a good position here. Let's just draw two cards a turn. Uh, I didn't notice last game either, but yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't get any tall telling sign either way. Either way, I'm going to be patient a little bit. I don't think it's super necessary uh, to go for it right now. Guess I can just play the grinding station though. I can play grinding station. I think they did as well, but I'm honestly not 100% sure. And I kind of want to actually play Emery. Just to get some more cards in the graveyard. Plus, I still have Dress Down then. Hey, Anton. What's up? Alrighty. Then we will say go. Attempt to win target game next turn. With the powers of the dress down to protect us. Luckily, if they sneak through one hammer, it's not lethal as well. I guess I could dress down, but then I can't block. Okay. All right, let's cast this now. <clears throat> We'll go for it next turn. Didn't really want to show him dress down, but I think it's okay. A breach. Um... I'll pay. 
Okay. <clears throat> There's the E E. <clears throat> Grind him. They do get to see my whole deck now. They could have Dispute, so I would like to get enough mana where I can play around that when I go to... I guess they probably just would have disputed this, but I actually still would have beat that, so maybe not. Maybe they're trying to be cheeky. They get to see how we sideboarded, and they're gonna see uh, probably some bad news. Grind, 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 grind. Let's not discard Thassa's Oracle. I think that'd be a good start. Go, 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 go. All right. I actually am going to do something I don't normally don't do, but we haven't seen everything from our opponent's deck. So I'm going to actually do a little bit of grinding on them. See some cards, get some information. <clears throat> Shouldn't get too crazy here, but okay, it looks like mono white. Wow, that was stupid. They could have marched their response and actually got me here. <laughs> that was a little bit of a loose goose. They ended up being, uh, they were F6, so I, I, I knew they weren't going to do anything, but still. It was still a loose goose. <laughs> well, it's not me either, Ross. It's not me either. <laughs> yeah, I should have uh, milled myself one more time. Or at least just left Grinding Station open. Then I could mill myself, but. All right. Let's see. On the draw. See if I want to make any changes. On the draw, I kind of want to cut a land. Since I don't have any of this looting and manipulation. Could bring in the other Ragavan, could do the other Mox. Mox isn't bad. Could do Grape Shot actually too. Like normally I think I only need one win con in this matchup, but Grape Shot could just be a good card. Yeah. Could just go just Grape Shot. I think I'd just rather have max removal, which is Grape Shot, but they can also Relic one of these things. Uh, I've had that happen, and then I've had trouble killing them. So I think we'll we'll go with the double win con. We'll give it a shot. 
All right, hammer time on the draw. <clears throat> I'll be snooping that one. And I'd like to summon all my energy to not see my most hated magic card of all time, Esper Sentinel. Esper Sentinel, please go to the bottom of the grave of the library. Cool, 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 cool. Love it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's bad. That is bad. All right, a lot of things to consider. I could just kill it right now so they don't blacksmith skill me in response to killing it later. I could wait till turn two to try to kill it, just play super defensive. What I'm leaning on right now. Um, I guess that's really the only options. So yeah, Scolding Tarn, go. I hate Esper Sentinel, do da do da. I hate Esper Sentinel, oh do do da day. I better get blue white here if I don't fire off this unholy heat. Since I have so many white cards, but we'll see. Maybe I don't even fetch. I can't, EK. You're right. You're right. All right. Just point out some glaring flaw in your hand, Hammer, please. Just don't go like land stone for Then that's a tough one. No land would be a glaring hole. That's a, that's a big fact. I'll accept. Dang. Eh, but dress down should come in handy. We won't be playing our saga for a while. Okay, hate it. Hate it in every way, shape, or form. F, F, F. I think I just have to give him a card. <laughs> yeah, I might just have to get a steam vents here too, even though it's early. I can't get hollowed fountain and unholy heat, believe it or not. So it's either hollowed fountain tapped or unholy heat as for sentinel right now. Give him the card. There's just so many things that it could be. They could not have land three and be completely screwed unless I give them a card. Or next turn they could go, you know, white land, paladin, hammer, draw a card. I guess they couldn't equip unless they had an artifact, but... All right, well, I'm unpleased, but take your card, you jerk. No. Could just play Spellbomb, because there's almost no way I'm going to dress down right now. I just go Spellbomb, say go, and then hold up dress down next turn. As I like it. Still prevent me from dying, more than likely.
Now the dream will be if I can top deck Bobble. And I could go Emery plus Dress Down. This does seem like the mono white version, so I don't think I have to worry about Spell Pierce. But I do have to worry about, like, I guess more marches and stuff like that. Either way, that's better for us, I think. I think the blue version is a little more scary. Kind of. The thing about the blue version is they always over sideboard against me, though. Which actually makes it better for me. The deck should be on the stream decker. Should be, anyways. I thought I put it up. Yeah. <clears throat> damn, damn, damn. That sucks. No, they have a hammer. Do they have two hammers? Probably. Can I in any way, shape, or form beat a second hammer? I don't think I can, unfortunately. But I could just bounce this. Yeah, second hammer is just GG. The problem is even Saga is going to give him a second hammer, so I think I'm just very dead. Unless I top deck like wear tear or something. Yeah, I think it's no choice but to bounce. I'm also thinking if I can afford to go get hollowed fountain. Uh, I maybe can't afford not to get hollowed fountain, to be honest. I think I might need to top deck prismatic ending or wear tear or something. Bounce. Oh, come on. All right, well, <laughs> we're dead. Sad panda. Hmm. That was unfortunate. To dress down into wear tear, but that doesn't hit the artifact. Yeah, we lose. Yeah, their draw was bananas. Yeah, and on the play, I think we'd have a chance to beat that, but on the draw, just, it's too tough. Seven cards, how lucky. I'm gonna attempt to play Regavan. Be cool if this connect. Be pretty cool. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> the sound, we're almost done with the draft. Yeah, the sound effects are annoying. My bad. My bad. All right. Ley lines binding, eh? All right. Get him. 
Get him. Oh, okay. You like the personal sound effects. Okay, okay. I got you. <laughs> All right, Guillaume. What can I do? <laughs> Elder Gargaroth. Yeah, I got to drop it on stream. I got to drop it on stream. Someone had an Elder Gargaroth. It was great. Someone came up to me at Worlds and was just like, hey, man, big fan, but I just need to hear Elder Gagaroth right now. And I'm like, all right, fine. <laughs> it was awesome. Fable, the mirror breaker. How do you feel about it? Debating if I want to play Ragavan. I don't think they play that many prismatic endings now. I could probably take a look at Guillaume's list, but I'm too lazy. Yeah, it was amazing. I'm not going to lie. I loved it. Elder Gargaroth resolves. I don't think I want to play Ragavan then into a Wrath. So I'll just say go. I get to discard Grape Shot though, which is awesome. And Lightning Bolt. Oh, shit. Well, I should have Lightning Bolted that immediately, but instead I'll have to do it now because I have six because I didn't expect that play. All right, well, could have been worse. All right, well, this is all not cool. Um, it's a fairy would be a must counter for them. Could dash Ragavan to see what's up. Hmm. Uncool. Main deck dress down, eh? Not great, not great, not great. Alright, well. He plays four shards? Uh oh. It's not good. That's not good. Uh, I'm probably dead then. All right, I think I'm gonna bounce this Ley Lines Binding, get a Fable back, cause then, you know, still not bad. And they can Binding again, but what are they gonna Binding? All right, well, I guess I Ragavan Dash for, well. All right. So close. So close to hard cast chat. We're almost there. 
Missed a gate for you. No sharks. No sharks allowed. Okay. Might be able to just win the game with Breach and Graveshot next turn. If they don't kill Teferi here. Okay. All right, let's see. So I can go Ragavan, Breach, Grape Shot, Grape Shot. I think that's it. So Ragavan, Breach, Grape Shot for three, Grape Shot for four. It's not enough. But I could dash Ragavan and maybe just grave shot the solitude out of the way a little bit. I don't think I can get an extra bobble in there. It's not enough cards. No, I don't think so. So I think I'm actually gonna go like this. Okay, so let's go Shredder. Dash Ragavan. Draw, discard. Do I want to get rid of Hall? Probably. Discard, dash, bobble. Grape shot. Same, same target for that one. Only for one though, okay. Hope I did that right. All right, all right, here's that. Take one of those. Chalice. I could chalice on zero. Be sick. But instead I won't. Give them a land. Oh. Do have something castable. Take that. Now I should be able to win next turn. Oh. Here's a nice little win without, uh, you know, where Thassa's Oracle would not have done it. That's cute. Grape shot looked good this game. That was Oracle. It would have did some scrying. Well, Guillaume's dead. That's a sign of desperation. All right. So let's tick up. I can unholy heat, breach, uh, unholy heat. Wait, do, do I even need to do that? Yeah, unholy heat, breach, grape shot, grape shot. That's already enough. Okay. Unholy heat. Okay, I probably should have looked at that a little closer. I think I can still do this? Maybe not, though. Okay, so I dash Ragavan to start. That'll give me four mana, then Breach, then... I think it's still good, but it's gonna be closer. Oops. Oh yeah, I can just double bolt, huh? Discard's Underworld Breach, that's probably a bad sign. I'm not gonna double, I'm not gonna double lightning bolt. I'm gonna single lightning bolt. Hiya! 
Blue cards, blue cards, I want the blue cards. All right, I don't want bolts. Table's okay, Shredder's okay. Shredder's probably the worst. Spellbound bad. Yeah, I, I do, I want some number of white cards, but I'm not sure which here. I think just some prismatic endings. For the most part though, I try not to combo. Um, for the most part, I don't combo against them, you know? So I kind of want to cut a breach, probably a grape shot. And I think ending is better than wear tear. Yeah. Could go something like this. Maybe that's still too many heats. I like this. No, I, I just haven't liked uh, Giganta. I That's what I was playing Anson before this. And I just never was using Giganta. Never cared for it. Didn't want... Yeah, it, it just wasn't good for me. It'd be good in this kind of matchup, you know, where things go long. But not worth it in my opinion. This looks fine. Fine. Post board, people usually over sideboard and then I just get to beat them down badly. Wafatov is probably a, a bit of a above average player here when it comes to this. Ew. Both my unholy heats. But I do have Saga, which is like the best card. So yeah, I'm going to keep and hope they either are good later on or uh, I can find a loot effect to get rid of them. But Saga, three land is pretty tough to mulligan. Oh, this is getting worse. I am the one who stalks Fern Dog. <laughs> Anybody remember the classic Matthew Dilks? Oh my god, that shit was so funny. <laughs> I'm just playing against Matthew Dilks in the top four of an SCG. And I'm just like looking at this amulet list, uh, playing against Daryl on the team. And I'm like, yeah, this looks pretty stock. And Daryl's just dead silent. Or uh, Dilks is just dead silent. He looks over. He's like, I'm the one who's stocked. I'm like, okay, sorry, buddy. Sorry, you win. It was too funny. Ice, well. Joke's on you. I don't have shit to do with my mana. Okay. Well, here's a saga. Saga, saga, saga. To fairy bond saga would be unpleasant, to say the least. All right, here we go. I got an Urza Saga and a dream. A soggy dream. Are you targeting me? No, oh, okay, okay. Guillaume with eight cards starting his turn. That's always a scary thought. All right, now how badly do I want to play into dress down? Versus what am I going to actually do for my turn? I think I do want to play into it this turn. Sadly.
doesn't change my turn that much. So I think it's worth the upside of me actually having another one, even though it's pretty clear that this was going to happen. Um, I suppose just a bubble. Take that. We'll say go. Don't need to bobble yet. I would prefer if I don't see any Teferis of any variety. That would be excellent. All right, now we'll see what's up. Fuck is that? <laughs> wow. Okay. Guillaume does not like Teferis. Not a Teferi enjoyer. Okay. I want to play Shredder, but if it gets countered, I can't Saga. Hall of, Hall of Heliod's Generosity could actually be really good with Saga. That's just my game plan from here on out. I could make a construct and then shredder to play it nice and safe. It's still worth it for them to wrath if that's what they do. Hmm. All right. They have a dress down that stops this, and then I should have left red open instead, but I don't really have delirium anyways, so it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, maybe this is bad. So I actually want Shredder to loot away some of my garbage. But this is a plan. Let's just saga them every turn until they're out of dress downs. Cards, cards, cards. Just Guillaume Wapatapa starting the turn with nine cards in hand and five mana out of a blue-white control deck. All good. All good. How many dress downs does he play in his 75? That's the real question. We're going to find out. I think four? Shit. You know, you're probably right. It seems like an insane card in blue eye control. Four. What a Guillaume thing to do. Okay. 
All right. Oh boy, uh, I think I have to. All right, Guillaume, see it. Not cool, not cool. Okay, there's a breach in the yard. So I can haul back for a combo, but I think this turn is better suited. Um, oh, it does come into play. Interesting. Okay. It's better suited just getting a bobble. I'm playing this. Yeah, I believe it. I mean, the card seems insane. Okay. Um. Expressive. Poor dress down is unkind. And here, I think I want the land. Four, five, six, seven. Well, I guess we dash. No, I can't dash. Just block. All right. Oh, Tilt, I don't think I should counter this. Nope, it's going to go up to that many cards anyways. I think I just want to start hauling. Start casting a combo every turn or Saga. Don't know if this plan is going to work. Saga or breach, saga or breach, saga or breach. Probably just breach over and over.
Copycat. Well, there goes our saga plan. Breach. That's a pretty good answer to this combination. Okay. Mm well, strangely, I can't beat there. Their stuff. Can't be their hall with dress down. Yeah, I think I'm gonna scoop it up pretty soon. Just to make sure I have time for the next round. Well, maybe not. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I guess I might want some uh, wear tears as well. I kind of forgot about ley line binding. It's a pretty good one. Yeah, I think I'm going to take out both unholy heats for just two wear tears. These have looked terrible. I wouldn't be surprised if Guillaume goes down to like basically no planeswalkers. Just kidding. That's obnoxious. <laughs> that is obnoxious. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't expect to play a hall mirror, but yeah, their hall is just as good as uh, ours, if not better, that's for sure. And Unholy Heat looked pretty miserable. Wear tear for Leyline's Binding is definitely a big deal. All right. It's kind of situational, though, which can lead to problems, but definitely want all the Emery's on the play. All right, yellow. One apiece. <laughs> well, thank uh, Gangsta's life. Appreciate you. We love prime subs around here. 
They're primo. Primo. Yeah, Hall's cool in the deck, but honestly, I don't know. I'm, I'm still on the fence about it. I think I think it's nice when I have dress downs on the board and stuff, because uh, the whole dress down lock, like we saw, um, you know, Guillaume assembling, is insane. Against certain decks, you just you just win with that. You just spend five mana every turn, bringing back dress down, playing it, and then doing whatever else from your mana, because although you're putting it on top of your deck, you still get to draw a card. It is uh, quite the combination. Not quite as good as having Luris in play and being able to go end step dress down each turn. Those were the glory days, but... Exactly. I totally went with the coward split. Yep. I think they're they're both good in certain matchups. You know, one's better in, in certain matchups, one's better in the others. But uh, in the end, the deck needs the looting. You know, I tried it without it, and that's just... It, it doesn't function well enough. Like in this matchup, I like Fable more. But you go to like Rhinos or something, I like Shredder more. Um, plus just two drop versus three drop is is comes in handy sometimes, but. After Jun and Grix's Breach, since we have Jeska and Teamer. Nice, nice. Love it. Get all the variety. I like it. All right, Guillaume. Battle of the Ages, a.k.a. we're both old. Mm. 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 So close. So close, but I don't think I can keep this one. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, I'll keep this. I think I just put back Grinding Station. Go for the turn two Emery. Yeah, sure. Turn to Emery and start sogging. Soggy sagas. <clears throat> See what you're cooking with. Hope it's not rest in peace. Then I just kind of punted. But to be fair, I don't have white mana for it anyways yet, so I'd have to sack it. So it would get me anyways. All right. I would enjoy a white source. Okay, I don't necessarily need it this turn since Saga would probably rather Saga, but once again, we run into the dress down problem. Probably should just play Emery again. Well, I can. Yeah, I love that play, Mania. That's one of my favorite plays. That is is probably my number one reason for uh, Shredder, because that play is, is a masterpiece. Okay. All right. Here's one of those. We'll get the drum. And we just do it now once again, probably before there's counter spells available. Where tear. Tear it up. Saga. Go.
Terra looked a lot better in Prismatic Ending there. Yeah, Prismatic Ending is probably just not as good. I maybe just want to play like three Terrors, one Prismatic. I, I'm starting to think Wear Terror is just a far superior card. Card's messed up sometimes. Haven't seen any verdicts out of him. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's close. How are you, Sarah? I haven't talked to you in a while. You been gaming? Been breaching? Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I'll let you know if I'm uh, O2 or 1-1 or one -one as well, so. Okay. It's kind of nice. Let's start with an espresso. Definitely is, yep. Hey, we might battle next round, yeah. I, I'll probably stick it on too for stream purposes, but let's try to beat Guillaume first. That sounds good. All right, bobble to hand and steam vents there, I think. Yeah, I should probably flooded strands. Okay, there's that. Guess I cannot saga and attack. Can't do this and attack. That's fine though. Fable, I think I'll draw that one. That seems fine. Okay. I don't know if that polluted delta is actually in Guillaume's hand. I don't think it is, but we'll find out. Good morning. I did have a good weekend. Thank you. Dom Harvey won it. The man, the myth, the legend. Well, hopefully he's stuck on lands. <laughs> More what? Is it a lion? Is it a, oh, more dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a little Henry in there. Yeah, a little bit. That pupperoo was uh, trying to be a star. Thank you, though. We had fun. That was a fun one. Ah, yeah, thanks, y'all. Appreciate it. Yeah, he's, he's always uh, good to commentate with. Knows his stuff when it comes to Pioneer and Modern. All right, Guillaume in the tank. I know he has solitude. Hoping he doesn't have a single dress down. 
Hoping Dress Down has been completely banished from the deck. That'd be cool. Oh, uh, yeah. I liked it quite a bit when I was testing for uh, writing my article. I, I was a fan. Okay, I like that. No flame blitz for you. I'm not playing many walkers. Hits the land though. Just trying to be destroying this. I was worried about that. I'm wondering now if I try to save that with Ottawara. Or I just go crazy with sagas. They have solitude. So they already have solitude to deal with Emery if I really need to. So I think I should just saga. Let Emery go. God, it feels kind of bad. Stuff. Um, hmm. Yeah, that was interesting. Get one of these. Guess I get a bobble. Oh, this. Oh, this. Red. Blue, blue, red, table, attack, <clears throat> say go. Hope we don't have a wrath. Pretty solid turn. Pressure's on. Pressure. Yeah, I think you almost sideboard down to no planes, no big planes walkers, like no Teferi fives and stuff. Okay. Okay, so I can keep them at five fives. Maybe they go to six sixes with the shaman. I think four is okay, so I'd rather draw a card here. I want more manipulation with Fable. And I can go for the win. So they can also have uh, one Ley Lines Binding as like the main thing. So I should be good here. Um. Okay, well, let's try it. I will breach. Okay, um, I got Emery.
grinding station. No dress down? No problem. If Blue Eye Control doesn't have any dresses down, then they're going to lose. All right, I would like to go first. Cherry? Who's Cherry? Cherry X-Men? Oh, God, I don't know what that is. All right. I think I'm going to be risky and keep this. We have three draws at one blue source, and then our hand is going to be just fine. So I'm going to keep, but this is a fail rate of a hand. It's what we call a loose goose. Just is it breach, huh? Okay. That's interesting. But, I mean, just wear tear is just so good. For the main board, that's pretty much what we are. Honestly, for the main deck, that's how I treat this deck. I have the one Teferi in there to beat Dress Down game one, and, like, it's an okay card. Um, but for the most part, I'm 100% an it deck game one. I don't fetch the White Lands. I'll drum, or, you know, I'll get the drum and stuff, but it's pretty much just it already. That That is my main game plan. Oh, see money What was their companion? Karuga? Okay. All right, let's see how this uh, how this match is going to go. Yeah, it's that weird Karuga elemental thing. Bad? Bad? Bad. All right, all right, all right. Respect, respect. That wasn't great. Okay. So, our opponent does not have this card. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, well, if we draw land, we'll be anticipating with expressive iteration. That's a fact. Yeah, so the reason I'm playing Grape Shot is so I can combo with low resources uh, if I'm under Blood Moon. That's that's the main reason. But also, if you get one of them Relict or, you know, something like that, there's some odd scenarios where you kind of want the second one. But it's an experiment, for sure. This is the first tournament I've ever done it. So not saying it's amazing or anything. Okay. So I could just deal with Teferi if I really wanted to. 
just bolt, heat it. It's honestly not terrible with how much resources or how far behind I am on resources. Ah, eh, YOLO. It's better than just anticipating here, I think. Yeah, for the record, I don't think it's very good. I, I think I will be going back to just Oracle here. But Grape Shot is, has been decent at times. Okay, that was also pretty decent. All right. Grape Shot's going to do its best job here next turn by discarding to Fable. See what they want to bounce with Teferi. I guess they just bounce Leyline Binding, huh? Okay. I would, I would assume that'd be better to bounce that. Sure. Can I have that one? Okay. All right, I for sure want to discard Grape Shot. Maybe Fable, but going Urza Fable again seems kind of good. Maybe I only discard this. I could discard Emery too. The Emery is not amazing right now. Feels kind of bad. Maybe we just discard this. All right. Fable, fable, fable. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if they're playing an elemental deck. Could be wrong, but wow, that was aggressive. Wow, that was aggressive and just feels wrong. Like, bouncing Leyline Binding when Leyline Binding is empty seems insane. Okay, there's the elementals. All right, well, you know, we could just win the game next turn if we can get Grinding Station somewhere. Probably not, though. Okay, well, I'll be discarding that one. Um, yes, for sure, for sure, Oracle. I think maybe we're at the point where we don't want two of these. Not gonna have the time. Yeah. Okay, let's go like this. Drum and Emery, I guess. Just trying to mill over a grinding station at this point. We did not accomplish such a task. Their deck's going to be good at killing our creatures, but bad against the combo, so that's what I should kind of focus on, but easier said than done. Okay. 
At least this is a creature. Okay, I like that one. All right. I can start with Breach to see how much they're going to give me. I guess I don't have Emery yet, but that doesn't matter. I can at least grab some Bobbles. Yeah, I start with Breach for sure, because if they do have the Ley Lines Binding, they're going to cast it. Well, to be fair, I'm not going to be able to cast any instants with Teferi on the battlefield. But we're still going to Breach. Yeah, I suppose it does look like I am one short. So I guess this can just be my value turn and I can kind of clean up the creatures and grape shot. That actually seems kind of nice. So I do need a little help here. All right, well, let's just see if this even works. Start with this. Get this. So that's three spells. Grape shot is one, two, three, four. So I'd like to get to five. I think I can do that. So if I bobble. I could bobble, get rid of these. We might be short. Bobble in the yard. Play a bobble. Bring it back. Doesn't look like it. And grave shot here. Bummer. Am I willing to exile Oracle? That's a good question. Maybe I am. I suppose I am, actually. Yeah, I totally am. I can just win with Grape Shot this game. Good call, good call. So then I can do this. Exact Seas. All right. Here's an advantage of having two, two of them. Start here. Okay. One, two, three, four. They're drawing three cavernous souls. All right, that was a good magic card. And we can still win the game next turn. I think we'll need a land, but that's it. They could go Karuga this turn. 
if they so choose. Faruga draw three, and then the pressure is on for me to combo. Doesn't do that, so they must have some disruption. Okay. I have too much to do with my mana. I don't think I'm going to be winning with Construct, so I'm just going to search. A bobble. <laughs> I mean, I can go for it, but I think I'd rather play Teferi and see what they do. Blue, white. Oh yeah, good call, good call. Yeah, good call, Ross. Okay, wait, then they can channel this though. Uh, artifact or creature. Okay, that doesn't matter, I guess. But they can channel it to artifact or creature. That doesn't actually matter. So what if I bounce this, I get a land. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can combo this turn, but I'll just keep Teferi in play, I think. I bounce that, that's three mana, breach. No, nope, that doesn't do it. So I know they have Karuga and uh, Cavern in hand. That's just their hand right now. Okay. Um. Is there any reason they have dead gone? I kind of want to get my value off this, but I don't want to bounce any of their things. All right, I'll bounce my own Ragavan. And I can play Emery. All right, that's both my Moxes, though. With that being both my Moxes, I suppose I shouldn't have activated Teferi. Is Karuga an elemental? Yeah, I guess that was loose. Because I need to generate exactly one mana. Okay, well, put myself in a bad position for no reason. Good job, Corey. Spell bomb is pretty solid here, ish. I don't have Oracle. Hmm. 
All right, I'm gonna do this in hopes that they actually kill my Teferi and just try to set up to win next turn. If they don't do something ridiculous, which I'm sure they will. But I actually want my Teferi dead so I can unlock the Mox. Yeah, they're they're about to pop off. Yeah. It's all how much mana they have. Step one, they have to have a fetch land to be able to do really good things. Because if they just have the five mana, it's not that big of a deal. But can't imagine they would not have a fetch land here. Hollowed Fountain's gone, Sacred Foundry still in the deck, and Island. Yep. Yep. Sure. Emery's fired. Literally could not care less. Could not possibly care less about that as well. Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay. Breach, bring back to fairy to start. Don't have a zero drop yet. Hmm. Doesn't seem obvious. Yeah, that's the only zero drop I can start gaining mana from, but that's not that good. Okay, I guess Breach and then start with Emery is pretty good. And see what they do. I think I have to go for it. Breach.
Emery. Fire Emery. Okay, that's not a big deal. I don't think. Blue. Yeah, no, that doesn't matter, right? Okay. This is why you play the one to fairy in the main, I guess. A lot of blue mana. Yeah, I think I can do this. I might not be able to without Oracle, to be honest, but we're going to try. Amber. All right, we're going to go like this. We're going to untap. We're going to get rid of the drum because we need red. Yeah, I like that, Ross. Um, okay, so Emery. Don't know if I'm going to have enough cards for this. Drum. Red. All right, so I'm at the spot where I can uh, I can double grape shot if I can do it. Can I play a land? Damn it. I can play Ragavan. Then Mox back a few times. We're going to try, but I think I'm short. Mox Amber, that'll be three cards, add red, sack it, those three cards, add red, sack it, those three cards, add red, sack it, those three cards, add red, sack it. Oh man, I think I might be one mana short. Oh, we're gonna go for it. All right, so now I can do a weird, actually, I think I got this. Okay, so check this out, y'all. Add red. Now I'm not adding mana, or I'm not milling cards, but I still get to do this. Untap. No, I, I don't think I can do this. Because I need... Uh, I'm so close. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. What if I lightning bolt? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. Bolt grasp here. Okay, so I have to go like this. Sack. Whatever. This. Bolt. Then grasp exactly. Wow. All right, never mind. It was we had we had one extra car, one extra damage to spare.
<laughs> Not cutting that one close. <laughs> I hit F6. There we go. Very simple. Very simple. Games like that are where I want to play only Oracle, just so I know never to take Oracle out, you know, and just never have to do that complex math. See, most of the time, Grape Shot is the same, but man, it gets tough sometimes. Yeah, super easy game. Now we still have to 2 0, you know, like because of the clock, but this is a good matchup. I want bolts. Don't think I need grape shot here. Don't want to change my deck too much. Concede game two to be on the play. Honestly, that's not a terrible idea. But I think I can, uh, I think I can play fast. Yeah, exactly. The moment I think I'm losing, for sure. All right. Yep, y'all got it. Y'all are correct. But we'll give it our good college try. We got a, How much time do we have? We weren't even in the red yet or anything, right? Like eight minutes or something? Wow, that was close, though, y'all. Could not have been any closer with that uh, graveyard. That was pretty sweet, though, huh? All right. Eight minutes, we can do this. Not with that hand. Yeah, remember that was our hand where we didn't play our second land? All right, I'm going to keep... What do I put back? What do I put back? Probably Shredderino. Yeah. Hands got all good cards. We don't want to loot them away. I want to play that now because if they don't kill Regavan, I can actually bobble. But there's some reason to just hold it. But they could also have Chalice. Oh, good point, good point, good point. Yep. Forgot about that. Pretty close to winning the game. I think I just make a construct here though. Red, white. All right.
One red, blue. Yes, they could have a counter spell of some variety. Dang it. I think we might have needed a land. So we do this. That's drum. Yeah, I think we did. So I don't think I should necessarily go for it. But I also don't want to do this. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to get a drum. And I'm going to go blue and red. E I. Okay. Heat to hand, fable here, land here. Go like this. Red. God, how much do I think they have a removal spell? How much do I want to play around it? I don't think I do. So let's go like this. Only dead gone. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so they could have dead gone. That kind of sucks. Then I can't unholy heat in response to their elemental. Yeah, it's not worth the risk. Punished slightly. Got to be able to deal with Omnath turns here. Okay, well, I think, I don't think I necessarily need to go for it right away. I can just keep doing the dash ragavan thing. At least do that to start. Only cost one mana. We could uh, breach second main phase if we really wanted. Could binding their binding if they go for that. Seems like a solid value breach turn. I guess I could just go for the W, but might even be better clockwise for me to not do that. Well, kind of hard to not go for this. Okay. Thank you, opponent. All right. Opponent had... <laughs> opponent had some cards. Five uncastables. <laughs> This matchup is basically, yeah, nice mana base. This matchup, I'm sure Ross can agree. I think I played this once in that uh, modern challenge that I won where I played against, uh, um, where I played against Demir Mill in the finals N not too long ago. I, I played this in the top four, and I think Ross could uh, agree with me on this. This is like the new four color Omnath. You know, I mean, it's basically four color Omnath already, but. That matchup was a buy. This one feels just as close to a buy. Like, their their deck's just too clunky. Yeah, I think Bolt is just better. Okay, I'll keep. This is a good Magic player. This is a good Magician. Let's battle, y'all. Okay. Yeah, like every fetch land goes for Steam Vents right away. Merktide is too popular for me to pull the trigger. Yeah. Yeah, Merktide is definitely the scariest deck in all ways, shapes, or form. All right, blue deck with Hall of uh, Heliod's Generosity. Hall of Heliod's Generosity doesn't know how much pressure it has on itself right now to perform. Because it's already cut from the deck. It needs something. Oh, is this Merfolk? Merfolk can actually be really tricky. Sometimes not a fan. Okay, well, I do love this sequence. I think it's Saga time. Although they did just reveal a trickster, which is pretty good against Saga. It's the fishies. 
Hello, Shredder, Shredder Triggers. Okay, I could hold that to try to get more triggers next turn. That might be good. Don't think I care. I mean, they literally their counter spell is Force Negation, so I'm just getting rid of it. <laughs> I am going to keep this, though. I think it's worth it. Is it? So I almost know my next turn pretty... Actually, I don't think it is. I'd rather draw removal. Let's paint a picture of their hand. That card's annoying. What do they have for instant speed here? Is there a Flash Lord? That's a thing? Oh, is that the new one? Vidal Vidalin Hexcaster, huh? Yep, that's a card that they have in their hand. I will not bite. Probably just gonna play this now. Yeah, good sequencing on opponent's part. All right, they're gonna draw that as well. All right, let's try to combo them. It's pretty good. Ish. Um, okay, so ward one. Yeah, I can't even unholy heat right now. So it's just going to be a weak ass turn. Let's put this for more cards in the graveyard. Yeah, they can trickster down our saga, which is annoying, but whatever. And I was like, now I could double block it. Yeah, that card just draws a card, huh? That's pretty cool. Love that. All right. Really not doing much with this. Maybe I should just make a construct. Yeah, actually. Can't combo or anything this turn. All right. Sad day. Hopefully they don't have two tricksters. Um, maybe I value breach this turn. Yeah, I might have to. One bubble, two bubbles, two-ish bubbles. All right. <clears throat> I'm probably dead. Oh, 
Alrighty. Pass. Okay. Guess I'll take it. Seven puts me to four. I could still fetch a land if I wanted. What else am I accomplishing? Hmm, might be in trouble. Wasn't that just game if they just played that pre-combat? Wouldn't have been plus four damage. I think it was. All right, so I guess I have to Emery into Bobble, or Emery into Mox plus Grinding Station. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Regardless, I need a Legend in play. I also have to kill this. Kill that. There's the station. I'd be GG if they had nothing going on like this. But they do have those things. I go to just kill the master and then try to block things and I survive. I think so. If they don't have another Lord, but I don't think breach does me anything. So I think that's my only play. Eat. Oh, that's a card. I already played a land. Only that Mox was in play. Flame, goddamn fishes. Swimming with the fishes. All right. Definitely want that. This is a tough matchup. I've lost to this often, to be honest. It's a tricky one. Don't want that. Grape shot actually seems kind of cool against some of the draws. Regaban seems okay. Removal spells is the name of the game. Fable seems heinous. 
Ferry seems quite bad. Shredder also seems quite medium. They don't double spell much. They walk right over it. Dress down seems pretty decent. Dispute's good if they don't have Vile, but if they have Vile, it's awful. Leaning on that, could also see Shadow Sphere. But I feel like those aren't how the games go. They just they just snowball out of control so quick that I don't think it's very good. All right. We need to cook the fishes. It's our only hope. Excellent start. Excellent start. That is an excellent start. All right. I guess I'm still going to put back Grinding Station. They play Dismembers, and Emery feels like how I win or at least get back into this. So, yeah. It'll feel awkward if they just never touch Emery, but whatever. I'd like to play a bobble. I'd like to play a bobble. And I'd like to play my favorite turn one play. There's the oracle in the yard. See what you're drawing. Well, I don't think I'll crack that second bobble. I need to draw a land though. All right, it's gonna be a big draw step. That's good. Sorry, I talked trash about you, Hall. You're you're very good. Oh my God! Stop it! Well, I was right about keeping double Emery, but I guess I should have kept triple Emery. <sighs> Solid. But if this land was Spire Bluff Canal, this would have been excellent. So yeah, Hall, sorry. You have not proven your worth, you're out. You cut. Yeah, yeah, this exactly, well, I guess this would have been a Mox Amber now. I did cut that for Mox Amber, so that would have been much worse. Uh-oh. In addition, this doesn't destroy that, right? Does it destroy it? All right, I was thinking of bolting it no matter what, but... Okay. <laughs> Well, that's pretty decent. I could just play Ragavan and then Saga. I actually think that's better this time. Is it like Spreading Seas? Interesting. So we don't have grinding station in the yard, so Hall is not really in effect yet. Okay. So what if I float here, I get a drum, and then I use that drum to like expressive iteration, or I just try to go ham. I think I took spell bomb out. I think I took Spell Bomb out, yeah. So I'm gonna get Drum. I don't love Spell Bomb against Merfolk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All right, so I can get in there by play grinding station, attack with this, and not worry about expressive, or I can start by expressiving and then likely not able to attack. Well, I think I like to attack. It's not a bad play to just go Saga crazy here. Yeah, and that's, yeah, so my choice is either station, attack, um, just make a Saga and say whatever, or station, or excuse me, expressive iteration, try to find a land and then construct but not attack. That seems worse. I guess I kind of want to leave that open because there's a chance I can just um haul back a breach if i don't think they have anything and win on the spot i might just haul back breach win target game depending on what they do Well, they have force negations in their deck, so it's not a foolproof plan. But I do think it's probably still worth it. But the thing is, the Saga token also basically presents lethal. Okay. Yeah, because if they have force, I put myself in a position where they could actually have force and just completely crush me because i tempoed myself out or i just play sagas and i put them in a position where they must deal with that first and then try to go yeah exactly ross yeah i still don't want spell bomb still don't want any of this nonsense i haven't seen any vials yet from them but they gotta have them right they do have cavern as well maybe this on the draw is just too bad i also don't like dress down on the draw because our constructs are okay it's not a race. No, this matchup's not a race. They have too many lords that go island walking, so it's never like, you know, gaining six life matters because sometimes they just hit you for like 14 or 15, so. Not a fan of Shadow Sphere. Shadow Sphere is barely good enough to be in the deck. I actually think I want to cut that. I forgot about that over the weekend. But that card was cut, and I think that's kind of cool. Teferi is not terrible. If they go that three drop and I get to just Teferi bounce it, that is pretty strong. Maybe Teferi is okay. All right. We're going to find out. This sounds good, though. I'd like to kill things. Kill target thing. Target your stuff. <laughs> You're right. I did not. I did not. Still don't like that card. But it's interesting. Okay, well, I'll kill that. Okay. Well, I guess my Mox is dead for the moment, but I don't care, I guess. I still think Vile is the most important thing to kill. Yeah, because at some point I could Teferi Bounce and then just play Mox and then, like, whatever. All right, let's get Red White and deal with Vile. It is a vile magic card. Yeah, Teferi's looking good already. Yeah, that's a good point, Ross. Okay, I will fry that. Yeah, I'm interested in Fury, too. I, I think Fury could be a sweet one. Okay. Now do I care about that vial? Probably still not. I do think I'd rather Teferi here, though, and get my mocks down and just get a mana advantage. 
Yeah, that's what I would assume as well, Ross. Okay, so I can... One thing I can do here is to fairy bounce chalice, play mocked, play EE -E for one. I don't know if that's good, but that is an option. The one thing if I Teferi and bounce this turn is if they drop that three drop next turn, I feel pretty bad. And honestly, if they have Dispute here, it'd be really bad for me. Maybe do I EI? What do you think, Ross? EI or try to go for Teferi in the face of what could be Dispute? And get Mox down, and then probably not explosives. I think it's probably EI. That also is a dispute check, but Teferi's gonna be better. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. This could go bad for me. You like Teferi? Yeah, I don't think they have many disputes, but, and even if they do, if that gets countered, whatever, then I EI. Okay. I'll try it. All right, do this so I can get a Mox. Oh, that was terrible. And I don't want to play this for one, I don't think. No, because I can always EI for three. That's not, not great, but it's an option. Uh-oh. Don't be the three drop. Oh. Okay. I think that's better. It's better for me. I'm enjoying that. Thank you for that. Blue, red. Breach to the hand, this is kind of bad. Breach to the hand and then Tarn, which I'm not even gonna play. I could go explosives for two here. All their lords cost two. Makes them play differently. All right. <sighs> they can still violin creatures through to fairy, right? Yeah, it's not played. Well, I think it's just Sagatastic time. So now it's, do I want to play Thoracle and do my thing? Which I guess. Why not find a good draw step? And then win with Constructs unless we find the station. Thoracle in play doesn't, I don't get punished too often. Construct, construct, construct. You'd rather leave up E than Thoracle? I'm just not afraid of their two drops yet. Okay, well, I guess Heat is dead. So I don't want these. I mean, Heat is a good card if I eventually deal with this Chalice, which I guess I can do with Breach at any point. But Bolt in the Yard does that too. No. I say no. This is not expressive iteration. Nice try though. <laughs> Lord. Hey, Island Walk! 
YOLO! Get wrecked! I'm bombed! <laughs> All right, well, losing round one to a nut draw on the draw of Hammer in game three, uh, and then rallying off to beat Guillaume, a merfolk player, and a Karuga deck. Not bad, not bad. So I think uh, for anybody watching this on the YouTube, something I was talking about in the breaks is kind of going to a list similar to this. Uh, I think I'm going to cut the Shadow Sphere. I like that, actually. So if I cut Shadow Sphere, I get to keep all this. I think that's where I'm going to go for my next one. Uh, also, cut the hall. Got Grinding Station back in there. I like to be a more consistent combo deck. Grape Shot is still very much on my watch list. Uh, but you know what? We're going to keep it for now. I do like having a total of six removal spells for like Ragavan and stuff. So it fits that mold while giving us some duality and comboing. Plays around Blood Moon a little bit. Added a Wear Tear because that card is messed up. Took on a Prismatic Ending, which I've never played this deck since I played it on my first RCQ, where I played less than two Prismatic Endings. So I'm not sure about that. Third Dress Down is on the watch list for me as well. Same with Second Dispute. Um, but other than that, I really like it. I want, I think my 16th sideboard card is Fury. My 17th sideboard card is Shadow Sphere. Um, so that is, that's what I'm thinking so far. Hey, what up, Peter? What up, Petter? Yeah, it is. It is broken. It was much more broken, you know, a, a while ago. I would say maybe like two months ago before me, Ross, and Jesse just started winning a lot of tournaments with it and then all making content about it and all being very loud about how good it is because decks are respecting it. Uh, and I think it is less good now, but I still think it is, in my opinion, the best deck. But like, you know, I think Hammer, this, and Murktide all can pretty much can pretty much chill you know so yeah i got a standing desk man standing desks are the way to do it just being able to take a break as a streamer you know and uh not have to be constantly sitting down have my back hunched over it has like memory sets so like i hit a button and i have like number one is where it's perfectly in line for my stream two is where it's comfortable while i'm chilling Four is the tallest, but it's not a good stream setup. Number three, it's like a good stream setup when I'm standing. Yeah, standing desks are awesome. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, everybody watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.